Hi. Lily was suffering from dislocated knee. Medical term, laxating patella, level 4. Level 4 means her knees are always dislocated. The doctor push it back, but come right out. You can see in this video, her knee was dislocated, but she repositioned herself and she can walk almost normal. And it's pop right out. You don't know when it will happen. So we decided to let her have surgery. This is a picture she's waiting for her surgery. It's in the waiting room and she looks so worried. She will stay in the hospital overnight and we will pick her up in the morning. We have her medication and we are waiting for her to come out. Here she is. She's walking. She's limping, but it doesn't look that bad. Maybe she's heavily uh, medicated. But she looks so happy. She didn't like to stay here for sure. They keep a cone around her neck because a uh, dog will lick the wound and that may cause infection. And she tried to jump, but she can't. But she's ready to go. There's another puppy waiting for her turn. This is called Mission Bet, and uh, this is supposed to be the best in the neighborhood for the, the surgery, this type of surgery. This is after we brought her home. We took her to the backyard so she can relieve herself. And we use a sling to uh, take a weight off from her uh, newly operated uh, legs. It's not bad that she's putting her weight on her left legs left the rear leg, that's where she had a surgery. And uh, they tried to run because uh, I think that's easier for them than put 100% weight on their bad leg. And uh, she often tried to lie down because I guess it hurt. We took her inside. Uh, this is a cage, a little bigger than uh, the crate behind the cage. We didn't really want to lock her up. And this is her surgery site wound. It looks red and swelled up. They don't cover this wound or they told us don't put anything, no Vaseline, no nothing, just to keep them dry. Then don't let the dog lick the wound. I was told most infection are caused by dog licking the wound. The surgery site looks really raw. And the lady must be in pain, but we wouldn't know how much, but I'm pretty sure it's, it's painful. As you can see, they really shaved her, and her right arm was shaved too. 
But don't worry, they give you plenty of painkiller and uh, antibiotic and sedation pills so they can stay calm. Lily looks so uncomfortable with cone around the neck, so I tried to replace it with this. It was fully inflated and it again uh, looked uncomfortable, so I deflated them some, probably uh, to 70%. After that, she was able to, to reach wounds and start the leaking. So it didn't work. And I had to put it back an uh, old cone, plastic cone around the neck. But if you inflate it, to the max, they cannot reach uh, to the wound, so you can use during the day, I guess. Now she can rest until next medicine time. Okay, this is the next morning, which is uh, day three. Yesterday was day two, we picked her up from uh, bed. And uh, we use we still using string to uh, lift her when she uh, walk, or to take a uh, little steps, you know. Here you can see shaved right leg. It's for IBs, and this is when uh, she saw the bird. You need to stop her, either string or the leash. It, you don't know when they're gonna dash, when they're gonna start running, and you don't, you wanna avoid that. See, she doesn't wanna put weight on her left leg yet, so you really need to support her back. I made this string by myself. It's easy to make. She's doing much better than I expected. She is eating, she is drinking water ever since she came home. When she came back from bed, she drank almost a half a big bowl of water. Probably they limited the water in, in their kennel. This is the next morning, which is the day four. She doesn't need a string to relieve herself anymore. She's relieving. You know, she tried to skip like that. I think she doesn't want to put all weight on her left leg. This is the next day. Day five. She's limping more. I don't know why she's limping more, because she's on uh, medication as she should and Nothing happened, uh, I just don't know. This is day seven. It's outside, it's so cold, like a 22 Fahrenheit. So I gave her sweaters. We are expecting winter storm and snow and sleet and ice and we didn't want her to slip and fall or something like that. So John set up this tent for her to use as a bathroom. Today Diddy is still limping but it's got a little better. But it's just uh, no reason. One day is more limp, uh, one day is to get better. I guess it goes up and down.
See, but they, when you see her sitting down like that, it looks more smooth. I think she is learning how to use left leg again. Now I'm going to show you how much she is healed where she was operated. This is her incision. It looks very nice. It's no wetness, no redness, or no swelling. It looks great. And uh, I'm not using a cone on her anymore. She doesn't lick, she doesn't do anything to it. This is her new knee. Now her knee is facing front. She used to have a kneecap on the side, inside of her leg. That's where, that's where her kneecap was. We didn't know her condition until like uh, last month, about a month ago, when we came home and she was limping and she was lifting up a left uh, behind the leg and uh, she was hopping around so we took her to bed and they took x-ray and they gave us bad news the doctor told us that she probably had it from when he, she was born so she was in pain all this time two years she's two years old and i felt so bad the surgery invoice was $3,977 after 10% of military discount was applied. Luckily, I have a pet insurance I purchased when she was about three months old. I selected the highest option, so they should pay 90%, and I pay only 10%. And I really hope they pay. We are so happy she is doing well. When we are waiting for Lily's surgery, we were scared because we didn't know anything about uh, the type of surgery. And I hope this video helped you.